All right, guys, I am going to talk a little bit about Mike Bell. A lot of you guys know who Mike Bell is. Uh, he was actually a jobber in the WWF and ECW and a couple other wrestling promotions uh, in the 90s and 2000s. And also, he is the brother of Chris Bell. Now, if you, a lot of you guys probably know who Chris Bell is. He is... Uh, the director of Bigger, Faster, Stronger, a documentary that was uh, did pretty well. Great reviews in the, in the uh, follow-up, Prescription Thugs, uh, in which um, Chris talks about Mike Mike's life and his death by prescri prescription drugs. Now, Mike, of course, died uh, at the age of 37. Um, pretty young guy. He, he was had a lot of issues with prescription drugs, um, that kind of thing, but... The interesting thing was that he died in rehab, and he died after inhaling uh, difluoroethylene, ethane in dust off, like the chemical or the spray used to clean things with. So he was huffing, basically, and he was 37 years old, like I said. Now, it was an interesting, Bigger, Faster, Stronger was an inter interesting, uh, you know, documentary because... It, it showed Mike's struggles, you know, with trying to break into professional wrestling and how he was, you know, him and his brothers dealt with this, the use of performance-enhancing drugs to try and get where they wanted to be. Now, of course, um, Mark Bell is an accomplished uh, powerlifter, I believe, uh, big dude. Mark and Chris, I don't think they struggled with the, well, actually, that's not true. Chris struggled with prescription painkillers himself. Um, and, you know, like his brother, uh, Mike, of course. And a lot there was rumors going around, too, that Mike actually supplied a lot of the big-name wrestlers in the WWF uh, with painkillers. Uh, and I, I, you know, obviously I don't freaking know that, and I can't prove that, but it is what it is. And also an interesting thing about uh, Mike Bell, too, was that... Uh, he was mainly known around the wrestling community for a 2001 incident with Perry Saturn. I made a video on Perry Saturn and what happened to him after wrestling. Pretty tragic. You might want to watch that video as well. But uh, during a videotape dark match, uh, Bell botched a snapmare arm drag of Saturn, causing Saturn to land on the mat head first. And then Saturn legitimately attacked Bell in retaliation for his per perceived lack of professionalism and in-ring ethic. At one point, he tossed him out of the ring. And, of course, they uh, came back and finished the match, acted like nothing happened, and, and the crowd was none the wiser. But uh, Mike was known as the Mad Dog. Um, he was uh, known as Saber and Mr. Grimm. But he never really got accomplished as a wrestler. He was on a... Just a match-to-match -match contract with the WWF, so never really, uh, you know, broke into it. Uh, here's his brother, uh, Mark, I believe. But just a sad, sad thing. I mean, you know, he he. Chris talks about it um, in in the movie, uh, 2015, Prescription Thugs. He talks about how he knew it was coming, and uh, you know, it's a pretty sad deal. He uh, Mike had moved to California to try and become famous. He wanted to be famous. Uh, he didn't want a real job. He wanted to be famous. And uh, like so many, it backfired. And he ended up just another, another statistic.